Hi guys, it's Kelly. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is again another pretty quick video and I'm gonna be focusing on using Trinity Stamps masking stencils. If you don't have any of these, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They are so versatile and so wonderful. I also highly recommend floral stamps. Anybody that knows me knows that I am a floral stamp lover, hoarder, must have all the flowery, things in, as far as stamps goes. And it's so weird because in real life, I'm like a tomboy, <laughs> go figure. Okay, anyway, moving on. These, I'm gonna be showing you different color combinations of oxides that I particularly love. Now, what's nice about also these Trinity stamp stencils is that they have this etching on it. You can see right here. So you can line up your cardstock nicely and that it's not off center and crooked. Just make sure your cardstock is cut straight and you're good to go. So I'm gonna be just showing you here some color combinations. I'm gonna speed it up because it's basic blending, but these are colors that you wouldn't really think would go good together, but watch how nice they come together. Isn't that beautiful? Next is Scattered Straw, Victorian Velvet, and Seedless Preserves. Now look at that blend, isn't that pretty? When you're going along the edges of your masking, just be careful, don't over ink, cause that'll cause bleeding. Now these are the ovals, and I love these too because they give just make they create a wonderful focal point for your cards now these three colors are magnificent peacock feathers blueprint sketch and uh, wilted violet in any order these make a really really pretty blend i typically try to go light to dark in all my blends so it's just more seamless but with these three colors they go in, in any order they're beautiful i love this combination Now see, isn't that those three look really nice together, at least in my opinion. And again, if there's any over bleeding, that was my fault because my ink pads are super, super um, juicy, <laughs> uh, for lack of a better term, and that was my fault. And I can fix that, I'll show you later how I did that. Now these three are, um, sav I always call it Savage Patina. <laughs> Salvage Patina, Peacock Feathers, and Tumble Glass. And I ended up, bringing in another color to create more of a contrast you'll see in a moment. Yeah, here it is, Blueprint Sketch. It's just to make it, give it a little bit more of a contrast. The tumble glass was a little bit too light. Now look at that blend. I mean, <laughs> it's like those three, those colors look really nice together, again. Okay, so now to stamping, I'm using Trinity Stamps, uh, fl floral stamp here. Uh, all the products I use will be linked below if you're interested. And I just heat emboss that onto my blended 
panel and that's it. I mean, that's really all you need in a sentiment and you're good to go. It's real. That's what's really nice about masking stencils is that all you need is a, is a blend in the center, stamp an image. It can be anything. I prefer florals. And here I'm using Penny Black Stamp and look at that. I love it. I love the way that looks. And I'm gonna show you here in a few moments all my finished cards and this way you can see how I finish them but this one I used uh, creative expressions uh, I forget the name of it garden spray I think it's called or flower garden something like that and now here oh I was just showing you real quick I stamp you could stamp a plain black flower and just add a colorful sentiment you'll see that in the end too and that makes a great card now here I'm using my tea ruler and I'm just framing out this image. Uh, this is Trinity Stamps Full Bloom stamp set, and I just making a frame with my ruler and just adding a couple little dots, just, I don't know, to make it look a little nicer, a little something different, and that's it. And I'm gonna add some, actually I wind up adding some Copic coloring and some gems, and you'll see that at the end. I was filming these here and then I realized, you know, I'm not finished. I want to add some more. I added some white gel pen and some clear droplets, but I realized I wasn't finished with this image yet, so with this card yet. And I'll show you at the end. Just bear with me in a moment and you'll see it. Now I also added um, Thanks a Bunch. I believe that's an Altenew stamp set. Um, label? Label Love. Yeah, Label Love. And this one, Happy Birthday, is a actually actual sticker from Tim Holtz. I added a little foam tape on the back and just threw that on there. And I used Seedless Preserve uh, colored cardstock to for my card base. Now this one, I just used a um, a framed uh, Trinity Stamps embossed frame for the just to give it a little polished edge. And this is the one I was showing you before. I just stamped a white floral stamp set and just added a colorful sentiment and that's it. And then look how nice that looks with a black frame. And this one I added creative expression sentiments and look how, you know, I think I really like the masking focal point with the flower stamping outside the border. I think it looks really nice. And here's another one, just a black and white card with just a pop of color with the sentiment. So if you like color and you don't like coloring or you're intimidated by it, try this give this a shot it's a great technique and it's so easy and it makes you can make any color combinations you want with with any inks that you have it doesn't have to be oxides it could be any pigment ink dye inks whatever you have use what you have so here i'm going to show you now i added some gems to this one here just to liven it up you know card isn't finished without some embellishments right so this one i just added some clear droplets and which one is next here? Okay, yeah, and these are the other ones. I just added a lot of Trinity Stamps boiled sugar drops. They're the clear droplets. I like those because they come in five different sizes, which is really nice because I love having a variety of sizes on my cards. Now here, look, see, I added the Copic coloring and it really made the, the contrast pop. And I added some white gel pen and some blue gems in addition to the clear droplets to make this card to finish it off and I'm really happy the way it came out so thank you again so much for stopping by if you get a chance please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave a comment below to be entered into my random comment giveaway thanks so much and have a great day